Hey guys, Lori Harrison, Diamond Ambassador with Plexus. Um, I wanted to share with you guys that I had an epiphany on, on uh, I started to say on Saturday. I don't know when you guys will be showing this this video. You may wa be watching this six weeks from now and think, when was that? Um, at our Too Big to Miss that we did on um, May 5th, 2018. Uh Later that day, I had an epiphany, and I was like, oh my gosh. And so, I want to tell you about the epiphany. I have to back up a little bit, give you a little bit of history on myself, and say, uh, when I learned that we were going to get into the skincare game, my reaction was, oh, why are we doing that? We do this other stuff, and we do it so well. Um, when I think of Plexus, I always think, okay, Plexus pl products equal results, and they're not in superficial ways, even though... If you've seen before and afters of people, uh, you see that getting your gut healthy can literally make you look like you've had a facelift. I've seen that on countless occasions. But leading into this, I was like, Ugh, okay, well, and I, I'll be honest with you, it's from a selfish perspective because I was the girl, super redheaded, fair skin. I grew up with, you know, cystic acne, <laughs> like this, those knots that get under your chin. It was terrible. Like I... I had skin issues most of my life. From the time I was about 11 or 12, I hit the, the acne portion of puberty kind of early. And up until I got my gut lined out with Plexus products, like the products that you take, you know, ingestible products, I had trouble using almost anything. I had to be super careful what I put on my skin. I had to be super, super careful with like shampoos and conditioners. I couldn't... Uh, because of, you know, when you sleep and your hair lays on you, I had to be super with, careful holding a phone to my face, super careful because, um, anything, any kind of contact with my skin could cause me to get these like knots and cysts and it was not good. And so I thought, well, okay, they're going to come out with a skincare product. I won't be able to use it. I'll probably tell people about it because I know not everybody is as sensitive as I am. What I've learned though, is that a lot of people do have sensitive skin. I have to kind of interject and say, because you're probably wondering, did she use it? Did she like it? I used it. I love it. That's not the point of this. It kind of is, but not exactly. I've been ex super excited about my results. And I've ha been having to keep it under wraps for the past three weeks. When I would do a live video, people would say, did you change your makeup? Literally, they're commenting live. Or people, um, I've had local people ask me, um, if I was doing something different with my skin. So they were not even, even noticing it more than I was. I mean, I was the girl who had to use like, I find one cleanser and I would stick with it because that cleanser didn't break me out. I would use the body cream as a moisturizer and I would try to find uh, shampoo conditioner type products that wouldn't break me out. And that was like my main goal in skincare. I know that's not a great goal. But um, anyway, the epiphany happened. I guess in regards to the market that we're getting into on Saturday because we launched this new product and people who have been telling me for years that they didn't know if they could afford to join Plexus, they didn't know if they could afford whatever to do things to take care of the, I mean, people can walk around like with one leg broke off or like uh, with, you know, major jacked up stomach. They can walk around with heartburn, indigestion. They can walk around with all these issues like they're walking around falling apart and they won't they they these particular classification of people might struggle to spend the money and i have those people categorized in my mind as okay well i mean they're a hard sell they're hard it's hard to get those people on board with what we do that category of people were some of the first people to order when we launched this new product and my brain did like this. What? What just happened? What just happened? Like, uh, girls on my team who have to ask permission to order another bottle of X Factor for their family's multivitamin that they know is keeping them healthy. And they're like, that, um, the kit comes out for the Joy Home and they're like, boom! They didn't ask nobody. And it's like, what other dimension am I living in here? Okay. Epiphany. This is the epiphany that I had. People already have it in their budget. Maybe not everyone, but lots of people that will surprise you. I've been surprised. And this has only been two days we've been doing this. For two days, 
the names that are like, I've ordered. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Or even the ones that are like, look, I got my kid in. And I'm like, what is going on? Uh, these are the people that like maybe even told me, like put me off about ordering Plexus for a year because they didn't think they could join, pay the $35 to join. Okay. Here's the thing. And this makes me want to choke. I don't know if it makes me want to choke husbands or what the deal is, but like for whatever reason, I think this is like a, maybe not with all women, but for lots of women, there's this thing. It's like you fight to get something in the budget. Like you fought to get your skincare in the budget and you did that 10 years ago and it's just part of the budget. And so when you introduce something new all these years later, you have to like fight again to get your new vitamins in the budget. But your skincare has been in there for a while. All you had to do was swap. Does that make sense? Like maybe you were already using some seven step program that cost you $100 a month or something. And uh, you maybe for whatever reason, and I know this is not, this is not really speaking to those independent women who are like, I don't ask nobody nothing. Okay. There's a, that's a different personality type. But the, the women that I'm really talking about that were some of the, my first to order this and I'm surprised are the ones that are like, have had to ask permission to order another bottle of X Factor. And I'm like, uh, okay, well, moving on. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, here's the other part. Here's the one of the other parts. I don't know how many other parts I'm going to have in this video. One of the other parts is, when I think of Plexus, I think of results. We never do anything without results. So, not only did we get into the skincare field, we like... You know how a, you know, a song hits the charts and immediately goes to number one? That's what we did. We came in with cutting-edge, groundbreaking research, clinical trials, um, Harvard dermatologist that's top in the nation for what she does, backing and saying, this is the one to use, okay? Like, we hit it hard. And I was thinking... This morning, I was telling my husband, I said, listen to this. Okay, think about this. The number one, I think, the number one eh, question mark in people's minds, when you start talking to them, or the number one, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Objection that you have to overcome when you start talking to them about um, a network marketing company is that idea of maybe it would have been good, but I didn't get in on the ground floor and all this stuff. Okay. There is an issue with ground floor, and I'm going to tell you what that issue is. Um, most network marketing companies are gone and, like, fail within their first two years. Like, 90-something percent fail within their first two years. So, you can get in on the ground floor. You can quit your job, put all your eggs in one basket, and in two years, end up with that company is gone. Now, I happened to get in um, at a time where there was still, like, lots of hard work to do getting the name in people's minds, really promoting Plexus, trying to be, get it to become uh, like a household name. Um, but it wasn't ground floor when I got in. But also, it wasn't tried and tested and true. It was just emerging. And I was telling Jetty this morning, I said, imagine if you had the option. This is, this is an unheard of, by the way. What I'm about to say is unheard of. Imagine if you could get in on a ground floor opportunity of a company that's tested and true and has been around for 10 years and also like uh, sells billions of dollars worth of product and uh, has is literally linked to the word results. What if you could, like how dumb would you be, sorry, but how dumb would you be not to if you could get in on the ground floor of a tried and tested company. Well, that's not possible, right? Because that's an oxy oxymoron. Literally, the definition of ground floor means you got in before it was tried and tested until this Saturday. I got chills just now. <laughs> I think I'm going to even start crying. We opened a brand new area of products in an industry that is one of the What's the word I'm looking for? The skincare industry makes billions of dollars a year. And we did it with gusto. <laughs> like, 
we hit that pumpkin with a bat. Do you see what I'm saying? And we're already known for results. But it's a whole other industry. In fact, you're pulling money from an entirely different envelope. Like, you're going to mamas and saying, okay, look, I got this stuff. You're probably going to like this. Like, oh, girl, I already spend that money. Tell me what it is. Like, I already budget that in every month. If you don't believe that that's true, then you just need to test it out because these women that you think can't afford to go out to dinner, can't afford to go to the movies, can't afford whatever, you're going to be surprised because I was surprised. I've already been super surprised and shocked to see that women already have it budgeted in and that now they've just switched. Now, even if you're one, if you're like me and you're like, I use a little uh, facial scrub and I only have to buy it every two months and it's only like $8 or whatever and you don't believe that it could be true for you, you need to try it out on your friends. You need to say, hey, I got this stuff. This is, you know, if you want to know the backing behind it, if you want to see some before and after photos, you need to look at this. You need to give it, uh, you need to give it a fair shot in your mind because... This is a ground floor opportunity, right? In a tried and true company, like solid as a rock, oxymoron. That was the conversation I had with Jetty this morning. I said, if somebody would have presented it to me in that way, I would have been like, oh my gosh, she's right. I'm right. I'm just going to tell you, I'm right. We are about to take off into the stratosphere and it's going to like, the fact that we are backed with amazing results. It's almost like we had to have the background story of how amazing our company is before we could launch into something like skincare. And now that we are, it's going to be a rocket ship to the moon. I hope you guys, I hope this resonates with you guys because I am really, really excited. I'll probably think of more things I should have said in this video, but maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll make another video. You guys have a great week.